But I think just the general action of challenging these power structures and showing people that there's an alternative and that you can hold protests and rallies you know, at this university, even though there's so many codes against it, I think that matters. And even if there's no sustained effect of Scale's efforts now on the university in the future, I think just sort of the personal effect that it's had on different people affected by the campaign matters a lot. It's a sacrifice that we all made for me to stay in grad school. It wasn't just me kind of doing it on my own. It's a sacrifice to them and a sacrifice that they had to, that they had to take upon because um, of the time commitment, the time that I wouldn't be able to spend with them as much, um, the, the sacrifice for them to realize that they needed to give me the space and give me um, the, the opportunity to continue with my school and it's a sacrifice for all of us, especially because we all know that at the end of the two years that um, our life was going to be a lot better. When I see the effect of the crowd on them, that might be the most rewarding thing about this. You know, we, we're not doing this for, for pay or anything. We, you know, we get a free T-shirt or two out of it. But um, when we see the effect of the crowd on our own players and firing them up and getting them pumped up, that is the, the most rewarding part of it. It's hard because the Olympics is only a month after trial, so it's not all that much time so you have you do have to be prepared for, if you do make the olympic team you have to be already mentally thinking about trials you can't just you can't just be content with your with making the team you know you have to think about winning at olympics so um i i don't know i don't even kind of know what to think about cuz i'm afraid to think about the olympics cuz i then i'm thinking hey i have to get there first so um I don't know, it's just a lot of thoughts running through my mind, but I try to not think anything that would make me nervous. Think only about my races and about the positives. USC obviously does so much. They have their family of five schools and so many other programs through which they help the community. The dentistry school goes around to the different schools and gives free checkups, but I feel that there is so much more that we could be doing for the community. Um, I think that although USC is a very philanthropic campus overall, um, your average everyday student does not volunteer one-on-one -on -one in their community or actually um, do any community projects really for the betterment of the community. Yeah, women directors and uh, pretty much uh, every uh, film profession there is is a, in a minority right now. There is definitely a minority of women. I don't think anybody is fit to say why right now because there's a lot of great opportunities going on. Um, hopefully that'll change in, in the next few years and next several years. Um, but yeah, there's a, definitely a minority in both blockbusters and, and uh, indie filmmaking. Um, I don't know whether that's women's attitudes to whether they think that it's not possible, but it seems as if you have a goal, you should just go for it.